Hey, Max. Good evening, Max. What's up, Max? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Um, got fine. What Difficult? About you? What's going on? Tell me. Fine. No, nothing special. Okay, it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> well, I hope everything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is it a girl? What? Is it about a girl? Uh, no. no. A girl? It's a familiar thing. Oh, I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. Okay. Yeah. Heart problems is that is I know. Don't worry. Okay, who's there? Is that Madeline? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Madeline. How are you? I'm fine. Always, I'm fine. Awesome. Very happy, always. You're always happy. I like that. That's the yes. attitude. Yes. No matter what. That's right. It's, 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 ah, oh, it's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. Yeah. Eight o'clock. We're just waiting for the rest. In my classmates? I know, I'm just texting them right now. Let's Teacher, see. the woman in the, the woman of the videos, do you know her? Yeah, she's one of our teachers. Oh. Why? That's what I thought. No, no, that's what I thought. <coughs> Do you might have her later on. There's a chance. Hello, Patricia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Fine, teacher. <laughs> Great. Okay, guys. Today's topic is a little bit tough. You know what is tough? Difficult. Difficult, right? Hmm. Teacher, move the eyelids, the eyelids again. Oh, <laughs> my eyebrows. <laughs> so, sorry about I that. I know. <laughs> it's okay, don't <laughs> worry. Your eyelids are dancing. <laughs> are dancing. Dancing or dancing? Dancing, dancing. That's right. Dancing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dancing with my self. Okay. Yeah, be careful with the spelling of this word, you know, tough. It may be a, ha a hassle sometimes. You need to know how to spell it properly because the spelling is very similar to taught, the past of teach. You may get confused, okay? Tough, 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 tough life. Okay, Oscar, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it, how's it going? I I think that I I am okay. In my day, I was working, and I had a lot of meetings today, and I I was was an interesting day. Awesome. Okay, you had a lot of meetings. You had a lot of meetings. I like yeah. that. Very good. Okay. Um. So let's start. Uh, today we have to talk about models and adverbs. So can you tell me what are some models you remember? 
models, uh, verbs, models, verbs, models, verbs, modal verbs. Yes, I remember. Modal verbs. Give me one, Madeline. Mm, modal verbs. Mm, right now, I, I, I don't under, I don't remember, but okay. I know it. Would, for Should. example, would. Would. Okay, would, uh-huh. Ah, good. Would. I guess I, I guess I know. Should. 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 Might. Might. Uh-huh. Might. Oscar. May. May. Must. Very good. May. Very May. good. Must. Okay, Oscar. Patricia. Max. Uh, I I don't know how how can say it, but is out. 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 That's right. You ought to go. Out is like have to. Out is. On. Is yeah. And that's what we have to talk oh, about. Right. We have to talk about how, and that's another model actually too, you know, sort of model. Okay, we're still missing some. Out is very formal and it is actually used in um, professional emails, in emails, let's say, in writing form. In writing form, you will see out. Out of, out of. And that's the right pronunciation, out of, out of, out of. The teacher I can't go. Go. No, okay. Ken is not. Uh, yes, Ken, Ken. Uh, what? Cool. Could. Could. Could is the pass of Ken. And it is a model too. Mm -hmm. Ken. And be could. able. And be able. Be able to yes. is what you use to replace In what? In future, the Ken. Verb to be. Exactly, you use it instead of can. It replaces, it replaces can oh, in the future. And you can conjugate it. You can conjugate, be able to. Okay. Yeah. I remember uh, shall, I think. And that's archaic English. Oh, okay. Shall is not that used. Oh, okay. Many Americans, listen, many Americans that pretend to be British, mm -hmm. they use the you shall. Still uh, using. Okay. Old school. It is using movies. Uh huh. Old school yeah. actors. I was about to say that. Old school actors like Anthony Hopkins, mm -hmm. for example, They're those kind of movies that you will see shall. Shall. Well, and Sir Anthony Hopkins, Sir Anthony Hopkins is, is British, right? So, okay, he's British, he's British, right? Isn't he? I don't know, but he, he got I the title, know. he got the title oh. as Sir, Sir, Sir Anthony Hopkins. That's amazing. Okay, uh huh. Any other? Let's see, we have would, should, might, must, may, auto. Well, I should have written the preposition there. Have to, can, could, be able to, uh huh, and can. Am, am I missing any? What else? No? What about Will? My last Will. Yeah. Will. Any other? Okay. No, I said my last will. <laughs> that will means a different thing. Voluntad. Yeah, what, what's the voluntad? Very good. Did I tell you that? Did I tell you that or you found out? I found out. Okay, good. Oh, let's see. Let me do something really quick here. Okay, there's a dog in the background. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two, four, six, seven. Okay. Guess we were missing one. Okay, I'm just moving my files here so we can view them one by one because I don't have PowerPoint here in this computer. So let's go. 
Okay, so today we're going to start talking uh, about models and adverbs. And the first thing we're going to do, as usual, is watch our friend. To watch our friend, um, I always forget her name lately. I don't know why. She's going to kill me. Jessica. Okay, Jessica is a teacher at English Corporativo. She's a great teacher, actually. Amazing teacher. So um, let's watch the video. Please try to understand as much as you can, and I will make some questions, okay? Please pay attention. We're only seven. I just can't believe it. Let's go. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may, mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay, any questions? <laughs> Teacher. Yes. Alice needs to your help. Uh, uh, needs uh, the link in the in the group because. Uh, oh, okay. He she doesn't. You see, I think there's a way here to send the link. Copy the invitation and send it right away. Thank you. Okay. Okay, there, and we're supposed to be in the same meeting as yesterday. Well, let's see if that one works for her. Okay, do you have any question? Yes, right? I guess you do have questions. <laughs> How? I was kind of lost. With <laughs> yes. Words, but, but I can use them. So oh. when you when you call for their names, um, get you kind of call lost. them. I know it's better if you look at examples. See, English is so easy that all you have to do is replace parts of the sentence. So, for example, in this example, as Mike is saying, it might mean. So, if I tell you that. Oh, let's play something. Let's use this as in our favor. Let's use this in our favor. So this is the chat. Do you see this square in the middle? Is there a gray square in the middle? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm just making sure. Ah, okay. uh, yeah, okay. Hello, Alicia. <laughs> Good welcome. evening, teacher. Thank you for the you're link. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. So. Let's use this in our favor. Look at the chat. Don't go around the bushes. 
Don't go around the bushes. That's an idiom. Don't go around the bushes. What is the meaning bushes? Perfect. What is the meaning? Ande por las ramas. Ah, oh, come on, Max. <laughs> <laughs> no Spanish. Try it. Okay. So Max now. Teacher. Yeah, he's good. He's good. You should think about teaching, Max. Okay. Uh -huh. So you can use the models here. You can say it probably, you see? Look at the right side. Then you use an adverb. It probably probably means using this one. It probably means that you have to go straight to the point. Okay? What you have on the chat, don't go around the bushes. I'm going to see if I can copy and paste it here. So if I tell you don't go around the bushes, it didn't work. Well, actually, it should have worked. There you go. But this thing is on red. Let's see. You don't see it, right? Okay. Do it again. Don't go around the bushes. It's an idiom, and it means that you have to go straight to the point. Straight to the point. You know what's the meaning of straight to the point? No. No? Yes, it's uh, uh, the is the punctual point. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, well, or... something wait, wait, like... wait, 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 Patricia yeah. or Alicia, finish your idea. Mm -hmm. Come on, finish your idea. Okay. Uh, for me, it's uh, like um, pay attention in the in this situation in this. Uh, in this characteristic, for example, or Who's this talking? point of view. This point of view, okay. That's true, not false. Okay, no. let's see, Max. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, hmm. Don't go around the bushes. For example, if I, I tell the teacher, teacher, I was wondering if you could do me a favor, but if I don't know if you can. I don't know. If, um, uh, go straight to the point, Max. You go straight <laughs> to the point. If, yes. Instead of that, you go straight to the point. Teacher, could you lend me $10, please? That's straight it. to the point. <laughs> there you go. That's a clear example. Thank you, Max. So speak clearly. That's it. Go straight to the point, okay? Don't go around the bushes. Don't go around the bushes is the idiom. So using the models or adverbs, let's use the models. Don't go around the bushes might mean, see what I did? I'm replacing this part, the subject, okay? I'm just replacing the subject it with the idea that I'm trying to explain. So the idiom, this is the idea. This is replacing the subject. The idiom, don't go around the bushes, might mean, may mean, or could mean, mm -hmm. or must mean, be sure about this, must mean, okay? Now, using adverbs, the idiom, don't go around the bushes, maybe means third mm -hmm. person. Maybe means, perhaps it means, you know, perhaps, mm -hmm. again, perhaps, don't go around the bushes means, mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. I'm replacing, be careful. Um, don't go around the bushes possibly means, probably means, or don't go around the bushes definitely means go straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the way you use either models or adverbs, adverbs to give a clear idea of, or, you know, a supposition you could say, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it all depends on what model you use uh, to say how strong you are on your argument. So if you are sure or you're doubting, okay, so if I tell you, uh, Alicia, if you continue coming to classes, you might learn English, right? 
That's a twenty-five percent. That's a twenty percent. You you might learn English. Okay, it's different different if I tell you you must learn English. If you are always in class, Alicia, you must learn English. Mm -hmm. if you do the if you do your homework, you definitely will learn English. Okay. Okay. You got it. Okay, that's the way. Questions. No? What is a slight possibility? A slight? What is the meaning? Okay, good. Where did you find that? It's not here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Slight, is... slight possibility. Uh-huh. Hmm. What do you think? Let her. Let her do it. Uh... What do you think? Slight. If you have strong at the bottom, and you have slight mm -hmm. possibility. Devil. 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 It's the opposite to a strong. It's the opposite. Devil. Devin, yeah, slight. Okay. A weak. A weak. A weak possibility. Okay. Uh -huh, it's not sure. Uh, sure, S-U-R-E, Arabella. S-U-R-E. That's right. Okay. Sure. It's not sure. It's not, not so sure. sure. Not so sure. Let me write it okay. down. Not <clears throat> so sure. Hi. Um, I said sure. I was about to write something and I forgot. Okay. That's the idea. Thank you. Thank you, Arabella. Okay. More possible. It's more possible. Okay. So when you're not so sure, when you're not sure about the meaning, we use the models might, may, or I could. could. I, will, I will go quick through this because I have it on different images. When you're sure about the meaning, we use the model must. You're sure about it. Or we can use the adverb definitely. 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 Uh -uh. Definitely. 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 There you go. You got it. Be careful. The stress is here. Uh, no, you cannot see that, right? Let me change the color of this thing. Okay, the stress is in this syllable. Definitely. 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 <clears throat> Definitely. Now do it quickly. Do it quickly. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Must. Definitely. 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 There you go. You got it. Okay. So we, if you're sure about something, you use must or definitely. Okay. And again, same thing that we were talking about, the slight possibility or strong possibility. Important to know, to know, the use of maybe and perhaps, which actually is the same maybe and perhaps, is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Always go at the beginning of the sentence. Maybe Adela Adeline, I'm sorry, Madeline, Madeline was, Ma yeah, maybe Madeline was trying to say something. Uh, perhaps Madeline was trying to say something. It's the See, same. Maybe it's the same perhaps. thing. What's where is? Possibility. Possibility. Where is? No. What's where is? Whereas. Where is? Where is? Where is? Where is? Where is? I don't know. Where is? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, it's like. Where is? It's on the other hand. Mm. Uh -huh. Where as? Where is? Where is? Where is? Where is? Where where as? No. Where as? Pero separado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where as? <laughs> okay. Where as? Where in as? Contrast, for example. In contrast. Uh -huh. In contrast, or in the other hand, possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. After the subject. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me move on and we will look at some examples in a minute. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to write down below this video, okay, on the forum. Two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. That's your challenge after tonight's class. So I need to come. Okay, there we go. I need to clear this out. Okay, 
Let's move on. So, do you see the screen? Yes. 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 Better? Okay, so here we have, oh, it's moving. I actually selected this thing. Okay, there we go. So let me have Max help me. Can you read, please? <clears throat> Where? Start on the top. Write two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay, that's the homework on the platform. Wait a minute. ¿Qué están viendo? Uh, no, I think you're the not. video. Okay, so forget it. Don't worry. Okay, there you go. Oh, you see? Okay. Yes. Okay. Where? So the first thing is terminology, explanation, model verb. Mm -hmm. Go, Max. Model verbs. Okay. Model verb. Modal verbs are sometimes also known as auxiliary verbs. They are used with other verbs to describe how likely things are happen or are to happen to, are to happen or to what degree of, of something is known. Modal verbs include can, could, may, might, will, would, must, should, ought, auto. Auto, good. Mm -hmm. Auto, for example. The princess might marry a prince. Okay. These are also known as auxiliary verbs because you cannot add another auxiliary along with a model. Remember, you cannot say, I would do, I will don't go. I will don't go. Okay, you don't say I will don't go. You have to say I wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't go. Whoa. You see, you use the same model as your auxiliary. And you say, would you go? Okay, in a question. Never use another auxiliary. For example, in the negative form. Wouldn't. Okay, plus done, the wool plus done, no, never. Okay, and that, that yes, verbs, the same helping verbs, yes, yes, helping verbs are a way of some for some teachers to say auxiliary verbs. I'm sorry, model verbs. Yeah, I heard some teachers saying that, I don't like that, anyways. Questions. No. I just remember I... how to use shall, and it is used nowadays when it... we use something called um, tag questions. You say, uh, for example, uh, let's go to dance, shall we? That's I the name of a I... movie. <laughs> oh, shall. No, but you use shall we? Yeah. So I read that in archaic English or British English, shall means will. Yeah, will. Mm -hmm. uh, and and for British, for British people, will is like, do you have the willingness? Stop question. No. I do my will. I think that's the right spelling. Willingness. Willingness. What does mean willingness? Willingness. I do. Okay, voluntad. Tienes la voluntad. No. Or do you have the will to dance? You see? Do you have the will to dance? Which is what Max is saying. Shall we dance? Shall that, we dance? That's a movie with um, Jennifer Lopez and um, what's his name? Oh my God. <laughs> the guy from uh, Hachiko. Richard Gear, thank you. <laughs> yes, that's the name of the movie. Shall we dance? Okay. So yes. Teacher, I mean, and, what about, mm -hmm. and what about auto? Or auto? Auto. 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 Yeah. Auto. Auto or auto goes always together. This is um 
let's call it professional English, okay? Let's okay. call it email writing, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is, as Max said, it replaces have to. And, uh, and it also equals must in the degree of importance of, I'm sorry, of imperative. In the degree of imperative, okay, in el grado de imperativo, imperativo, un gran imperativo, ought to igual a must. Must. Mm -hmm. You must. You ought to. Okay. Ought to Solo que eh, must um, prácticamente significaría tener que. Debe. Ought to es deber. Ah, Ten, okay. Técnicamente. Por ejemplo, lo ocuparía más a nivel personal. I ought to go. I ought to go. Mm -hmm. A nivel profesional. On the other hand, you can say gotta go. Uh-huh. Informally. Gotta. Gotta mm, go. Not informally. Or gotta. Oh, uh, yeah. Gotta, yeah. It's the slang for um, got to. Mm-hmm. That's gotta. just, that's slang. That's called slang. You may know, must right? Be, must be, debe, debe estar, o debe ser, must be. It must be, yeah. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Um, because there's a lot to cover in this session. So, the princess might marry a prince. Okay, that was the example. Let's continue. So, these are, that's the way you use models. Oh, my God. And go in and do a research, you know, more, a deeper research on, on models. How to use them. You cannot conjugate models that's something else that you cannot do you cannot uh, change them in time so you couldn't say can't and can the I don't know like saying can okay that's impossible okay or would <laughs> you couldn't do that right okay not, not you can say kind of food sorry what I can say kind of food how do you pronounce that Oh yeah, canned, canned food. Canned food. But in this case, you're using it as a noun. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a kind of soda. It sounds similar. It's very similar. Yes. Okay. Teacher, Good. in the case of the prince might marry a prince, uh, it means that there's a, a slight possibility. There's a slight possibility that this happens. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The princess might marry a prince. Okay, let's move on. So what about adverbs? Um, I need the help of... Uh, Madeline, Madeline, could you read this, please? Tell me. Yes, please. Adverb of possibility, uh, possibility work in the same ways as modal verbs. They give information about how likely something is. Adverbs of possibility include certainly, definitely, maybe. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Don't rush. So. Okay, don't rush. Give me one second. Where is it? I got it already. Okay, uh, read again. How do you read this word? Definitely. Wait, go ahead, Definitely, Madeline. definitely mm -hmm. maybe, surely, clearly, obviously, perhaps, uh, probably, and undoubtedly. Undoubtedly, I don't know. For example, you got it. You got it. You got it. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. For example. Undoubtedly. 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 No, I cannot. I cannot pronounce. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Let's check. Undoubtedly. Yep. Give me one second. What is undoubtedly? The sky, the sky went very dark, so obviously it was going to rain. It was or it is going to rain? It was going to rain. Listen, listen. Undoubtedly. 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 There you go. 
undoubtedly. 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 It's undoubtedly true. Oh. Indudablemente. Ok, súper rápido. Consejo. Siempre busquen si la palabra nueva para ustedes tiene una raíz. Ok. Ok. Yeah. So, in this case, this word, the root, the root of the word or the adverb in this case, you see? Doubt. 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 Okay. Doubt. So, Doubt. here, here you have. Ah, undoubtable. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have a prefix. Okay. And you have a suffix. Mm -hmm. On. Doubt. Doubt. Undoubtedly. 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 Pero cuando tengas miedo, Max, si vas a dar clases, si tenés miedo, de, dudas de ti mismo, no tengas miedo de verificar en frente de los alumnos como lo acabo de hacer, te metes al traductor y, espérame, no, ok. Like this. Can I use the word doubtful to describe someone? Doubtful. Yes. Doubtful. doubtful. You're doubtful. You're, he's a doubtful. Doubtful. That's right. Okay. For example, the sky went very dark, so obviously it was going to rain. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Madeline. I wasn't paying attention to you. The ah, sky okay. <laughs> went very dark, so obviously. Now, obviously, it sounds like. Very fresa, right? Okay. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> teacher, teacher. Yes. Uh, sorry, I, I thought you told me read it all, but the sky went uh, so there. So there. No, that's the example. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. That was the example. Thank you very much. Let's okay. Read again all the adverbs. Teacher. Oh, the adverbs. And perhaps yeah. in. in Perhaps in adverb, what I mean? Perhaps. Because, uh huh. It's, it's the, same the same as maybe. Yes. Okay. Perhaps ah, okay, okay. Maybe it's the same. It's a more, it's a bad Okay, okay, okay. It's a frequency adverb. Cuando yo empezaba a estudiar por mi cuenta, eh, les conté que empecé desde los siete años, ¿verdad? Con un diccionario. Cuando empezaba mm. a estudiar yo solo, Utilizaba más perhaps. Perhaps. Que maybe. Okay. Siempre tenía la mañana de hacerlo. No right now? I don't know. <laughs> just, just maybe or perhaps. <laughs> But I use more maybe. I, I noticed I, I, tend, I tend to use more maybe. Okay, so let's see. Model verbs. As we said, they're used with other verbs to describe how likely something is to happen or to show how certain we are of something happening. For example, one day the girl might be queen. There's a possibility. It sounds hard to happen. Yeah, it says the word might is the model verb. It indicates that the girl might be the queen, but it isn't definitely going to happen. Okay, so this is the list of verbs definite event you can use may oh may no might auto auto you could use could should must and you have and then you go down will would might and can teacher i have a question yes when you pronounce should will and could Mm -hmm. uh, I don't hear you, the, the letter L. Yeah, I don't, no, you don't have to pronounce. No. Uh, no, you have, you have to say would, could, would, could, and should. Without L. Without the L, yes. Would, could, should. Oh, yes. Make sure you pronounce the D, okay? Mm -hmm. Strong, should, no, would, L. could. Should, would, could, would, could, should. Okay? Should, yeah, should, okay, very good. Good, okay, let's move on. So, you know the uh, models, let's go with some examples. You need to find 
which of the following sentences are using models to describe that something might happen? So for example, I like chocolate because it tastes nice. Is that demonstrating a strong possibility or slightly, slight possibility? No. Mm, it's a it's a sentence, a it's, common sentence. It's just a common sentence. It's affirmation. Good, very good. Okay, very that's a good, Alicia. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. That's right. So that's just a common sentence. My mom said we might go on holiday at half term. Yes. Yes. This is a model verb. I thought, I thought might. Exactly. Yes. That is a model verb. You have might. Might. And just as a reminder, como un recordatorio, después de un modal viene un verbo en su forma base, no base. infinitivo. Okay. Okay. Might to go? No. Might go. Okay. Might go. The plane flew through the sky. It's, it's a sentence. It's a sentence. A common it's, a sentence. sentence. it's a common sentence. That's right. Very good. Okay, you must finish your work before break. This is a model. It's a model sentence. Let's call them model sentence, okay? It's a model sentence. Model sentence. Model sentence. Sounds good, right? The special yeah. visitor, listen, the special visitor will arrive later today. It's a, a, a common sentence. A common sentence. No. Ah, uh, no, will, will, will. Yes, it's a model. <laughs> it's a model. It's a model. Be careful. It's a model for the will. Will is no model. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's a model. Possibility. A ver, voy a hablar en español súper rápido. ¿Por qué es un modal will? Porque cumple los requisitos para hacer un modal. No puedes ocupar otro auxiliar con will. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, no se puede eh, conjugar Will tampoco eh, También porque se está hablando De, de, de posibilidad de Will la... parece que tiene como Un 80 o 90% Ajá, de que, que el grado de voluntad Que alguien tiene para llevar a cabo una acción uh -huh. okay. Arriba de él creo que solo está Going to Y el verbo con ING de una sola vez Exacto, very good Cuando Max. se habla de, del futuro You got it Max, you're very smart Thank you very si clever. Está planeado, Will. Si no está planeado, es going to. Al revés. No. <laughs> going to is planning. Ok. Madeline, para asegurarse de no olvidar esto de regla, piensa en la traducción en español, aunque da risa. I, I will, remember I, the, the, the class, the, the teacher, teacher uh, the Flor what? told me. Teacher Flor, uh -huh. Flor told me uh, the... <laughs> But but I confuse. I, I no. Confuse. But listen, it's very simple. If I say I will eat, I'm saying comeré. I if, I, if I say I am going to eat, voy a comer. Yes. Es más, voy a ir a comer. Okay. Seguridad completa. Okay. Good. Let's go. After dinner, I finished my homework. It's a common sentence. Common sentence. That a is a common, common sentence. sentence. Excellent, guys. Very good. Oh my God, you're amazing. Let's go with the next ones. Okay, yeah. now let's help Max by underlining the model verb in each sentence below. So, where are the models here? Just tell me. Mm. And the number one is Nic Nicole might win oh, a prize. Nicole might win a prize. Might. <laughs> okay, good. Might. I don't like that color. Okay, so you have might. Good. What about next one? Uh, it would have. It would have been great. Yeah. So, and we want to. No. What's the model? Wood. 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 Very good. Wood. Next. Wood. Will. Will. will we will will excellent uh huh should 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 
Okay. Yes, you may go to the toilet, the you teacher said. You may. You may. You. Hmm. Okay, dad thought that he Otto. ought to wash the car Otto. before going to grandma's house. Otto. 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 Otto wash the car before going to grandma's house. That's right. Uh, house. Okie dokie. Very good, guys. And last one, we could go to the zoo at the weekend or go bowling. Could. 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 Very good. Could. Good. Okay, now we have negative sentences. You need to make each one a negative sentence because remember, as we said, models become negatives as well. They become auxiliaries, so you can add the not to the auxiliaries. So Haiti can do a handstand. Haiti can't do a handstand. Let's go with the first one. Fion can do column can, addition. Can, 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 can not, not do column, column addition. addition. Now be, be careful. Okay, be careful. Are you looking at that? Cannot. Okay. Okay. Never do this. Never do. And. No. Ah, okay. Okay. It's together. Cannot. 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 It's not mm -hmm. separated. Be careful with that. Cannot. Okay. It goes together. Okay. Let's move it. Next. Think number two. But when you write or when you pronunciate. You when you write. Okay. I mean, it's both, yeah, mm -hmm. because you okay. uh, you con contract can't, can't, yes. or cannot, yes. cannot yes. go cannot. together. Okay, Connor okay. could swim a full length of the pool. Couldn't. Connor Connor couldn't. 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 It might rain later this evening. It, it might, might not rain. It later. might not rain later this evening. Exactly. It may not. It might not rain later this evening. Can I say it mightn't? It mightn't. Yes. Mightn't. You can do it. Mightn't. Mightn't rain later this evening. Mightn't. Okay. You may go to the ball at the at the palace. You may go to the ball at the palace. Right? You may not go may to not the ball at the palace. Yes, but you cannot say you mind. Mm. No. You may not go. You may not. Exactly. You, you cannot. You may not. Okay, I will take more care next time. I won't take. I won't take more care, care, next, care, time. care okay. next time. Okay. Christo will like to read the story after lunch. Crystal wouldn't like to read the story after lunch. After lunch. We must get closer to see. We mustn't get closer. We must get closer to see. Get closer to see. Last one. You shouldn't. I'm sorry. You should finish it before break time. You shouldn't finish it before break time. Or break time. Excellent. Now let's go with. Uh, these are just model sentences, as we said. Mm, I will jump. I will jump. Um, I send you all of these pictures, so mm -hmm. take a look. Take a look at these pictures. Um, at now, my phone, at my phone. Yes, it's on the yeah. chat. On the phone. Mm -hmm. So, in addition to model verbs, some adverbs can be used to describe how likely it is that something will happen. These are called adverbs of possibility. Some oh. of the most common adverbs of possibility are certainly. Listen, certainly. Definitely, maybe, possibly, clearly. This is very clearly. Make clearly. sure you stress clearly. Obviously. Obviously. Perhaps. 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 Probably. 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 Which I repeat again? Possibly. Sure. Possibly. 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 Yeah. And again. Did you notice? Yes. Possibly. 
Certainly, yes. Certainly. Certainly. Clearly. To do this, if you're typing, Obviously. if Obviously. you're writing this, these adverbs. Perhaps. No, no. Perhaps. It's an, at the end. <laughs> Probably. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the stress, the stress of the syllable. Okay. I always, when I think about adverbs, I, I remember suddenly life has no meaning to me. Okay. <laughs> now, there, there's an exercise here. You can use this on the platform. So you can use each word to write a sentence showing how it can be used. For example, he is definitely coming to the party. Maybe I'll win the lottery this week. Can somebody give me another example with another adverb? I understand the lesson clearly. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Okay, I clearly understood understood the lesson. I understood the lesson clearly. Yes, good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another mm -hmm. example. Uh, definitely, Saturday, you are a reason. I will. No, definitely, I will sleep early. Definitely, or I have to use. definitely, I will sleep Please early. Going to. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, today was my short day. You know, my short day. I was supposed to start working at at 6 a.m., not at 5. And I forgot, and I started working at 5 a.m. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, no! <laughs> when I say certainly you are a reason, it's okay. Wait, wait, wait. Certainly you are? A reason. Certainly you are a reason. Yes. Madeline, yes. certainly you are a reason for me to be a better teacher. Oh! <laughs> yeah, the word. Yeah, okay. okay. Because, I, I, you like, because you like to study. You like to study English. So certainly you are a reason for me to become better. Great job. Now, there's an exercise. Tomorrow... We will check this, okay? This will be a conversation for all of us to practice. It's a, it's a case study, okay? It's a case scenario. And it says, imagine that, imagine what school will be in the year 2099. 2099. In the year 2099, how the schools will be. Okay, and then you have to write a description of your ideas for a future future school using model verbs and adverbs of possibility to explain what the school might be like. Now you can use the following questions to help you think about what to write. Okay, make sure you write it. If, if you have the time tomorrow, go ahead and write the, a brief story. How will children in the future get to school? Hmm, what about the, the boss? the school boss. What lessons will they study? Hmm, what about math, science? Nah. I don't know, what about politics? Politics, how many will be in each class? How many students will be there in each class? What about no students in the classroom, you know, 2099? What will they do at break and lunch times? Hmm. Okay, what will they eat? What will they do their work on? You know, their homeworks, tablets, laptops, or something else? Who will teach the children of the, fe the future? Who will teach the children of the future? A person, a robot, or even an alien? Okay, <laughs> try to use the models and adverbs so you can write the story, okay? All of these pictures, I send them to the chat so you can prepare that brief story, okay? It's a good exercise. Okay. Oh my God, we were just eight tonight. Hi, Beatrice. Teacher, send up, please, the, I, <laughs> the topic at night. I did. 
the group. I did. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, we have. They are in the cell phone. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't see. Okay. Tenemos aún cinco minutos. ¿Alguien me quiere hacer alguna pregunta con el tema que hemos visto para que quede más claro? Hable ahora, calle para siempre. No, mentiras. What is the difference between ought or might? Ought or might. Okay. Might is out of your control. Like, it might rain. It might rain. It might rain. It may rain. Yeah. It's, it's out of your control. You don't know. But it may oh. rain. It, it might rain. rain. Okay. Um, and auto. Auto. Is that. Is like saying that you have the do. You have the do for that to happen. Okay. Uh, it seems that you have to. Oh my God. Sorry about the. What's going on here? Okay. It's like the do. The dirty, the dirty, I'm sorry, dirty. Uh, so, it's your duty, it's your duty for that to happen. Es tu deber que eso pase. You ought, to, you ought to clean your room. You ought to clean your room. Tu debes limpiar tu cuarto. You, know, you must, you must clean. You must clean your, your room. Ten, ahí sería, de, tenés que limpiar el cuarto, tenés que. You have to clean. Ahí seguimos con lo mismo. Debes, pero ya no es tanta, o sea, el grado de imperativo, ¿qué te dije? Imperativo. El grado imperativo lleva ese orden. Primero iría have, después iría ought y luego iría must. O sea, must es, o lo haces o te castigo. Ah, oh, yes. Right. You have to order and must. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I understand all. Okay. Have to es como recordarle a alguien su responsabilidad. Simplemente, como que está agendado ahí, vea. Okay, you have mm -hmm. to clean your room. You have to understand. And, and you <laughs> must understand. Ah. In a, in a, That's in right. A, a head, in a head, on That's the head. Right. With, <laughs> with the ruler. Okay. The ruler. Yeah. You know about that, right? Alicia, you must, Alicia. You must understand. You too. With a ruler. No. Uh, like this, right? I don't use yeah. this. <laughs> Remember that? Put your hand like this. Put your hand like this. No, yeah. Ponga la mano, ponga la mano. Lepina. La lepina. Remember. Yes. Okay. Questions, questions. We still have three more minutes. Come on, guys. Look at your notes. Look at the images. I'm going to, going to is not a, it's not a model. A model. Mm, no. No? no? ¿Cumple con el, el requisito de ser modal, eh, un auxiliar por sí solo? Pero no es, no es considerado un modal per se. Uh -huh. Esa regla, entonces podemos usar dos auxiliares juntos, ¿ok? Going yeah. to la cumple. Going to. Momento, no, no la cumple. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar de going to? Going to no se puede ocupar solo para hablar del futuro. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar del futuro and con then, going to? Es el modal. The verb to be. The verb to be, Alicia. Very good. The verb to be. Mm -hmm. The verb to be es el auxiliar del futuro con going to. No es going mm -hmm. to. No, no se puede considerar un modal. Very good. Great. Elvis, perdón, iba a decir algo. No, no, only will the very, auxiliar. Right. Very quiet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, bien. Estudien las imágenes, hagan esa actividad para mañana para que podamos aplicarla en la clase, okay? Okay. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher.
Bye, everybody.